So now, on to Star Wars news, correct? Yes, news and comics as well. Uh, news it's, is actually some fun, really fun stuff. Um, so I remember to break this up last time. Sometimes our news is like one thing, and then three yeah. quarters. I'm like, I don't really know if that's going to make a full on video. Yeah, this one's going to make a full video. Uh, so. <laughs> All right, so Star Wars uh, so news. What do we have in the world of news? This is what? 8 9 2023. Let's go. Mm-hmm. So we got a uh, full, full list here now. So after now that Dark Droids issue one is out and done, they have a, a full release schedule here of all the issues coming out and the tie ins. Um, the only tie in mm-hmm. series, like mini series, is the D Squad for issues. The rest are just in the issues of the thing. Um, yeah, next big event. I mean, I'm excited to get through this one, but also... Well, if you're curious, you can always them. pause right now and write down all those if you want to do it. Marvel would love it if you did that. They would love you to buy all those from Yeah, I uh, Honestly, I don't. But... <laughs> uh, now, here's another fun one. So this is important. So, uh, they, they actually put this out today, which is nice. Uh, so, it's the release schedule for Ahsoka. So, issue episode one and two are going to premiere together. It's going to be an hour and a half long total, and it's going to be uh, two weeks from now. Uh, it's going to release every one. No, it is every Wednesday. Sorry, the August thirtieth looks like weird. To me. Sorry, the August thirtieth looked weird to me when I saw that num- uh, date. Yeah, so every Wednesday it's coming out uh, throughout all of September, and then the first week of October will be the last episode of um, of a of Soka. Uh, there are some character posters that were released for the uh, ahead of the be, show. I'm not going to be sp- spoiled. You're going to be spoiled, and you're going to like it. You're gonna no watch. You're gonna look at it. I refuse to be spoiled. I'm just gonna click the button, then you tell me when to click again. All right, one second. So you have on the left here, you have Sabine, and on the right, you have Hera. Uh, it looks very good. I'm very really excited to see these two characters in live action. Them? Is it just their characters? Just them. Okay, I can look at that then. One thing, it's just character posters. That's not, that's all it is. There's no thing from the, there's nothing from the trailers are here. It's just these um, two. Uh, okay. I'm now you're upset. Well, why are you angry? I'm not angry. You know, Clone, you know, Clone Wars is my jam. I got, I got sentimental stuff. Sen- it's that. Rebels, you mean? Yeah. I mean Rebels. Um, I don't know. It's fine. There's nothing <laughs> they can do about it, right? They can't 100 match a freaking really weirdly drawn cartoon. I mean, that cartoon has its own style anyway. Yeah, but uh, see this? Okay. <laughs> uh the next three are going to be the villains I of the gotta, show. I got to know. She has a style. She looks very clean. She looks very put together. She looks very particular with slightly purple hair. I got I got to I got to see if there's going to be the There is other stuff you'll see. Uh they have different right. they have different looks in the trailer too. I don't I'm not happy about the lightsaber, but you had already told me about that one. You're spoiling son of a gun, so I already knew about uh, almost as if they said in the trailers and and any picture with her in it. No. I, I, but I haven't been looking at them. And then you have three of the villains here obviously yeah, Thrawn's not included. Uh, you yeah, have the magistrate or on the left from uh, the so uh, from Mandalorian. Uh, you have Balin in the middle, and then Shin on the far right. Uh, this guy is very, like, huh? the guy in the middle, right? He's already is already an issue there, right? Yeah, the actor passed away uh, yeah, after filming. Um, I'm really interested in their characters. They both look really cool. I really like her, Shin, the apprentice, basically for him. Uh, she's like seems she has like a very mall like um, demeanor, like she's very aggressive and wild, nice. uh, like untamed, which would be a really fun addition for that. So now I got some Lando news. This surprised me because uh, uh, for the longest time uh, I thought this was dead in the water because I also did not know when they announced this show. They announced it in December of 2020, by the way, the three years ago almost. And now they brought up so that Justin uh, Justin Simmon, who was going to be writing the show since the announcement uh, a long time ago, has now exited and is not going to be writing it. Uh, Donald Glover is um, he was already attached to it along with Billy D. Williams. Both of them were going to be in the show. Um, Donald Glover is now also taking on writing duties alongside his brother, Stephen Glover. And Stephen Glover, if you want to know, all he's really done writing wise is a show called Atlanta, uh, which, you know, his brother, you know, Donald Glover stars in. He basically writes most of the episodes. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm not sure how I feel. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, as long as both Billy D is attached to it as well, I think that would be better. Let me tell you something about what you're saying right now, though. Okay, (laughs) Billy D, my boy, you know he's my boy. Uh, None none cooler in the world than Billy D. Uh, He's getting up there, and he hadn't had a lot of roles. He's uh, 80. So I looked it up. He's 80, uh, I think three or four. He's two to three years older than Harrison Ford. If, if Disney throws him some uh, shut up and like it money, he's going to say he likes it whether he likes it or not. <laughs> I guarantee that. Hey, and I don't blame him for it. Um, <laughs> I don't mind at least. Okay. The idea just on the surface, the idea of having Glover and his brother write Star Wars makes me throw up in my mouth, to be honest with you. <laughs> However, at least they have wrote something, which is a, which is that's that's amazing for Star Wars because they were hiring people there for a while, right? In their comics and their shows. Who this is like? I wrote a blog post once and then full on send it right. So hopefully, yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping for the best with that. That's my favorite. It's one of my favorite top five favorite characters in Star Wars. And God, I don't need another punch in the gut from Star Wars <laughs> Disney for this, please. Oh man, uh, new toys and figures. We got two of the show. Uh, another land. I, I'm torturing you this week. There's a lot of Lando what? stuff. Why is that $79.99? So you want to know why? I couldn't. I hate them for this. There's no picture of the box. This is a vintage, vintage series, I guess, but it's the jumbo version. It's the 12-inch one. It's the full 12-inch. Okay. Like the older, you know, the remember when they made the old 12-inch ones, the massive ones? Is this Sideshow Collectibles? No, this is the vintage Hasbro. And they got they got the nerve. Okay, let me tell you something. Again, I love this character. I never <laughs> leave Orlando behind. Okay, they, you can go right now on any store shelf in America and find Orlando that looks like this, or when it's in his cape, and it's been sitting there for three years, never been bought. But why is he is, but is he one foot tall though? But why in the world would somebody think that they're going to buy eighty dollars for that? He's one foot tall. <laughs> I mean, there's a good chance I'd buy it, but other than me, I don't <laughs> know. The clearance bin, the clearance bin for fifty bucks, you'd buy it, right? If you had the cape, I'd give him eighty for it. But like, <laughs> anytime I see a cape, I'm, I'm I'll be purchasing. It. Oh, good lord! That's so this one, they officially announced the pictures for this. Uh, it's the Republic gunship, the Coruscant Guard gunship. Mm. So it comes with Commander Fox, two Coruscant guards, and then Padme and Palpatine from the Clone Wars uh, looks. The first time we see so that, I never went down that Lego mind yes. shaft. Oh, there was a lot of controversy with this set actually uh, coming out uh, because Fox, uh, the coloring is wrong on Fox, and the gunship is a little weird because of this. So there's two things why uh, it's a good size, but the door. So with the gunship, the doors open up like this. Both panels move. Uh, this, the front, the back panel. So the front panel is fake to make it look like it. Only the back one moves. And then the ends of the ship, uh, there's no dome. There's no dome guys. They're just blasters you would use, or stud shooters you would play with. They don't have the dome on the ends of the wings. Yeah, but to be fair, I have one of these in uh, in Hasbro, whoever made it back then. And you had to buy the dome shooter separately. And those things are almost yeah. as expensive as the damn uh, as the damn gunship now. So yeah. like, to be so fair, that's, that's, not, that's, that's, not that's the complaints. I think it looks cool. Yeah, um, it looks yeah, nice uh, gunship. Good old gunship. I mean, I'm not. I don't norm. I don't collect Lego. So like, maybe for for the people who collect Lego, they usually bring it, and they're not bringing it on this one. You know what I mean? So I I get that if that's the case. Yeah. Uh, and that comes up to the new stuff. So here's the thing. Comic wise, we're covering. I'm covering both comics this week and next week because next week has one issue. And we're also going to be off. So I'm like, why not cover Who both? Who would buy a Max Rebo comic? Let's be I intend to get that far right cover right there. That variant on the far right. Now, also, there's preview pages of this. It is confirmed. Canon, 100%. Hits his feet that are there. He has no arms. It's just feet. He walks around. Hey, ask your question. <laughs> you want the far right one when he's giving you the full Monty package show right there on the left? Look at the yeah. show he's giving you. He's giving you all the business right there. He is showing you everything he has. Your little sneak peek at the down under there. And you'd rather have the one on the right? Yes. 
Well, I'm getting the one on the right, but I'm getting all of them. Uh, so <laughs> the there it is. <laughs> anyways, what's funny is this issue actually specifically mentions like it's going through his head, and he actually talks out loud too. But like he's there playing, and he gets really depressed when he sees what's her name go down the pit because like he's like she had a sister. Like the Twilight goes down there and dies. She's, like she had a sister and family and friends waiting for her back on Narshadar. I, I I'm like I'm never going to play music with her uh, with this again and all that. And I'm like, what the hell happens? This poor guy. <laughs> The things he's seen, he, he's he's uh, come on. So, so that's why I had to do it to you this week. We got some interesting issue thirty-seven of Star Wars is uh, focused on Lam- Lando and Lobot fighting for a bit there. So good A cover on the left. Uh, in the middle, we have issue thirty-seven of Star of uh, <laughs> issue thirty-seven of Star Wars, the fortieth anniversary variant for Return of the Jedi, number twenty not twenty. Uh-huh. Eight of 40. Oh my god, 12 more to go on the far right. They've been doing Clone Wars variants, uh, 50th, 15th anniversary variants. They all look really great. Uh, but this is a fun one because it has Kenobi on it, which I knew huh? that you would bring up. What can, I, can they still be ordered? I uh, come out today. This came out today. No, okay, I gotta find out how to get a hold of one. I don't know what to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we also have more variants of this uh, issue. There's three more. Why would we talk? There's no, oh, oh, well, hello. So on the left is Sabe. Uh, it's the action figure variant. The middle is a uh, Zelea variant thing there. And on the far right is the Phil Noto variant of Lando and Lobot. Right. And then this is the stuff that comes out next week. There's only one yeah. issue. Uh, Darth Vader 37. I'm uh, glad that his face is weird. He's been on a drinking binge. He's got the <laughs> alcoholic face. I'm okay. I don't need that cover. I was He's like, I was excited face when face. I heard this cover. And then yeah, it doesn't look doesn't look quite as cool. Uh, and then you have issue. Don't forget issue 37, Darth Vader. Uh, this, 40th this, anniversary that's Return of the Jedi cool variant. Cover. 29 of 40. There are 11 more to go. There you go. Um, that's kind of a cool cover though. I kind of do dig that cover. The, the, that was a good. That is a good one. That's a good <laughs> cover right there. Uh, there's the Anakin one on the anniversary variant, and then this out of the left field variant on the far right there. That's awesome, though. You I wish we had awesome. that when we talked about uh, him because that would be a great picture for the back. Yeah, so, how many of these Clone Wars variants are there? So, there's a bunch. Uh, now, there's two specifically that are really good. Uh, EM Geist is doing them. One is Commander Cody uh, against a wall, and it's like blaster uh, marks. How many have there had so far? think these so this one comes out next week there was the one that will be one this week the cody one i think might have come out already i'm not too sure there's a padme one with a battle droid looks really good i think they're maybe doing six they're doing one for each of the series so darth vader yeah. bounty hunters dr afra star wars um i think dark droids is also good there's gonna be four at least i think there might be six though until okay, i gotta find a way to get those okay and then, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, is Elton John to remember this. <laughs> he is the rightful ruler. You sons of guns. You've disappeared him. What have you done? <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, there it is. There is the new Star Wars news, comic books, and toys coming out. Mm-hmm. If you want to always keep up to date with that, you have to sub up Mr. Gorell YouTube. You can watch me play on Twitch and other video games on Mr. Gorell Gaming. Mm-hmm. Instagram, you keep up with. He's a great follow. Mr. Collects here, the Canadian himself, the most famous Begin. Canadian that I know. Beginning to upload again, again, some more now that I have more pictures of things you go off. Of. When I say he's a great follow, don't say I'm starting to upload again. Son of a gun, don't do that. Say, well, yeah, I'm trying I'm to remind people Canadian. to come back, to come back. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks again.